Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson. This week, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use labels in Google Drive. So what we're gonna be covering in this video is what labels are, what they're actually used for in Google Drive, the different types of labels, and then I'm just gonna be doing a quick demo of me using labels within a Google Drive document scenario. So if you wanna know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So what are labels? Well, labels are metadata that you define to help users organize and find and apply policy items to Drive. You can apply up to 150 different labels in your organization and labels are supported from the business standard tier and above. At Damson, we particularly use them for data loss prevention, labeling files with labels like confidential, so this prevents people from sharing them outside the organization, but we'll talk a little bit more about that down the line. You can also use labels to curate and find files faster. For example, create labels that can increase searchability within your company's knowledge base in Google Drive. An example scenario here is that someone in your organization could use advanced drive search to search for all the contracts that are awaiting signature and due by Friday. So label types. Well, Google has two types of labels in Google Drive. One is called badged and one is called standard. Um, and I'm going to be giving you a demo later on of the badged type of label. So a badge label helps users identify the type of file that it is. So an example of this would be file sensitivity. So this label can have fields like top secret, internal, external, private, this kind of thing. And this is a demo that I'm going to be giving you in a few minutes. Each option can have a unique badge color and your organization can then use this obviously to identify the sensitivity level of files. Um, so it can help people not share things externally that were not meant for sharing externally. Then there's standard labels. Standard labels can be simple or complex. For example, you could label one project alpha. Your organization can then apply this label to files associated with this project and that will help you identify and retrieve and search for files in that project later down the line. So turning labels on and off within your organization, this is done within the Google Admin Console. You need an admin account to do this and we are going to be making a video on how to manage labels within the Admin Console very shortly, so do stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're just gonna do the demo of how to use labels in Google Drive now. So the first thing I want you to do is open up a document. So as you can see, I've got a document open here. It's called Labels in Google Drive. Um, if you go to the top left-hand side under File and the third section down, first option is Labels. Now, once you click on this, it's gonna open a panel on the right-hand side over here. And you're gonna see that there's no labels on this document yet. So I'm gonna click Apply Label. So the two suggested ones I have here, because these are the only two that are set up on this demo account, is sharing permissions and departments. So I'm just gonna click on sharing permissions. And um, now you're gonna get a drop down, And once you click on that, you'll see that we have three av available options here. So I'm just gonna label this internal. Um, I can add multiple labels to this document. I'm just gonna keep it simple here. I'm just gonna say that it's internal. Um, and now this is not the same as using DLP rules to prevent people from sharing externally. People will still be able to share this file externally. They'll just be obviously recommended not to because of the label. That is something that you can do, uh, set up files that can't be shared externally, but we will talk about that in a later video. So as you can see here now, this document has been labeled internal with a big red internal label. So it's very obvious what it is and that you're supposed to keep this document internal in the organization. And if I go across here to my Google Drive, in the advanced search options up the top in the search bar, you can see here that it says labels and you can search labels. So if I search sharing permissions and then I click the field, if any, and I say internal, and I hit search, it's gonna pull up this document here and you can see that this is an internally labeled document. So it's super easy to find these files. If I select this file and I head over to the right hand side and click the information toggle, it's gonna to pull up all the information from this document, including the label of the document and loads of other things like who has access, et cetera, et cetera. I can also two finger click or right click, depending what type of mouse you're using on this file. And I can even add a label from here in the third section again, under labels, 
you can add labels in here. So that's it from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. Uh, we covered a few different things in here from what labels are, what labels are used for in Google Drive, what are the different types of labels, and then a quick demo of labels in Google Drive. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see any additional videos, please let us know. We love your input and we love to hear what you want to see. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.